Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today we are going to be reviewing a pack of fortune telling playing cards. And this is a cute little deck, I must say. <laughs> I saw a review on it, and I thought, hey, why not? Uh, so we have the Gypsy Witch fortune telling playing cards. And uh, in here, we're going to have, I believe it's 52 cards in the deck. A very simple box. We want to be careful opening this up because, of course, it could tear easy. And inside we have the packaging. Uh, let me just take this off here. There we go. I like that. I didn't notice that there was a little pull tab there that makes it so much easy to get off because sometimes you need to use scissors here and may damage the cards opening it up, but love it, love it. Okay, so, wow. <laughs> this is the cute little instruction book. I mean, look at how adorable this is. Is this like two pages or something? Okay, I mean, <laughs> I didn't expect much of a book to be in such a small box, but this is the instructions. Look at that. Short and sweet. <laughs> Introduction, the short reading, the long reading, and on the back. Okay, so very simple, interesting little instruction booklet. <laughs> and I like the backs of these cards. They remind me of Halloween. I, I just love the pictures on these. They're so cute, and they're tiny cards, too. How small they are. Perfect. Uh, and they're a uh, matte finish. Uh, cardstock is okay, not too bad on the thinner side, but it's okay. So here we get the extra Joker card. I'm sure once I read that little booklet, I'll know what this is about. We have number 37, uh, and we have the Ace of Clubs, I believe that is. Okay, and you have a little message up here, number 37. The rapiers warn us against assaults which threaten and will occur sooner or later according to the distance from the person. Okay, so I guess this has to do with the placement of the cards, how close this is or far away from a person uh, for the intensity of it. Number 34, the star. The star ensures success in all enterprises when near, when very distant, some unlucky event. So this deck is going to be based on how near or far cards are from, I guess there's going to be like a woman card in this deck. And it reminds me a bit of Lenormand. Um, even though Lenormand's only 36 cards and this is 52, we have the star card in Lenormand. Okay, and then we uh, have the next card, number three, the pig. Shows a picture of the pig down here. The pig, whether near or far, is an omen of phenomenal luck and great abundance, high honors, and all ambition attained. These are nifty little cards. Uh, the eye, when near, denotes great interest taken by friends when distance signifies suspicion. Hmm, very interesting. The coffin, like I said, just like in Lenormand, this is card number six. And it says the coffin foretells acute illness or loss of property when near the person, when distance, a probability of averting evil. Wow. The mouse denotes loss, just like the mice in Lenormand. Clouds, okay. And it's saying with the dark side toward the person indicates divorce. The bright side towards the person ensures domestic happiness. Wow, so I guess this is the dark side here, and this is the light side. And depending upon what side the card is, or the person is, indicates what the meaning is going to be. The mountains, again, like Lenormand. The rose indicates beauty and rugged health. I'll take that. <laughs> uh, the rod, okay. The shepherd, amor. Amor is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. How sweet is that? The bride, the birds, 
And number 18, this card represents the lady. The money, safe. We got a safe down here. Again, we have the playing card here. Then we have the card number of the card itself. And then we have our symbol down here. The dog represents true friendship. The anchor, the lion, flames on the hearth, indicates good fortune and neutralizes the evil of near line unlucky cards and increases the value of lucky ones. Interesting. The broken glass, the heart, used to seeing a heart symbol, not an actual heart. <laughs> That's interesting. The Skype. Like I said, just like in Lenormand. The rider, same thing, just like in Lenormand. Children. The letter. The roads, which in Lenormand would be like the crossroads. The railroad. The tree. The key. You see a lot of the clover. I see a lot of uh, reminders of Lenormand in this deck, plus other things thrown in, like that fire on the hearth and like this card lightning. These are like little additions to make this deck different. The lilies, the snake, the park, which would be like the garden card, I would imagine. The tower, the order, this one is called, denotes honor and recognition of labor. Near 48, a sure sign of business success. Wine, wow, symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety, I guess like celebration. The bear, the fox. This card represents the gentleman, the sun, the fish, the moon, the house, the stork, the cat, the ship, the bouquet, the book, the ring, hand in hand, the joker, and the extra joker. Wow, this is surprisingly exciting. <laughs> I can't wait to use this deck. I am really drawn to this. I didn't expect myself to be this drawn to this deck. I thought, you know, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. It's going to be a nice addition, you know, to my card collection. I really love these cards. They are cute. I love the simple picture on the back. I love just the, the simple imagery and the fact that they have like a little uh, hint of what the card is. You don't have to go looking in a book for it. It's like right there. Very, very cute deck of cards. They're adorable. Love, love, love them. Uh, these would be great for a beginner, great for a professional. Um, absolutely cute deck of cards. Love them. Love everything about them. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more.